Edith LeBelle here at Cage Warriors 106, a nine of champion. And I am here with your new champion, your new lightweight champion, Modestus Bukowskis. Modestus, you predicted a second round KO. You can't be disappointed with a fourth <laughs> round TKO, right? Yeah, it, it was actually quite hard for me to sort of figure out the timing and stuff like that and the distancing. He, uh, like I said, credit to uh, Marvin Hamlet. He's, you know, he's, a, he's an amazing athlete and uh, he was making it tricky for me to find the distance. but. Uh, as the rounds went on, I, I was starting to feel the range better, and that's when I actually knew that right hand at some point would land. I just needed that extra step, and I wasn't getting it earlier. So I had to just sort of weather his storm, which he, he put a big one on me, uh, and then, yeah, obviously go out in the fourth round and finish it. And he was definitely smothering you in the first round. Did you feel like you were in big danger there at this point? To be honest, I've been put in a lot of crazy situations in training uh, and in other fights and stuff like that. So to be honest, um, I was sort of used to being put on, on that sort of deep pressure. I knew all the escapes, all the, all the submissions and stuff. And it was just a case of I have to make sure I try and get back up to my feet. And I was just biding my time. You know, in MMA, you can't really rush those things. You have to sort of find that if you can get up straight away, get up straight away. But I didn't want to waste too much energy. And, you know, then I would end up gassing out later on. So, um, yeah, I just had to bide my time and I knew uh, that I'll, I'll get through it. And he was undefeated. So do you think, like, you know, what do you think you brought different to the table? Do you think that's what it was, like you were patient and you kept your composure and you just found the right moment? Yeah, um, I think his previous opponents, they, they went out a bit too wild. Uh, I had to be very composed and calm in there. Obviously, I threw some, a couple of wild shots, which isn't my normal sort of boxing style. Um, but uh, yeah, fighters in the past have gone crazy, and then he's got a, he's got a very powerful punch. Like I, I can't give him enough credit, you know. Like he, you know, he's a very powerful puncher. So if any one of those, and I've, you know, he caught me with a couple. So if I would have made one bad move or went too open, he would have finished me. So you know, I had to I had to stay, you know, uh, a lot more like you know, sort of calm and, and structured, and yeah, just slowly pick away at it. So you realize that you have Michael Bisping's belt right now on your shoulder. How does that feel? It feels amazing, you know, to be to be down in the history books, you know, in such a strong lineage of, you know, light heavyweight, you know, uh, royalty, pretty much. You know, Michael Bisping being a UFC champion, you know, again, I'm 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 hoping, you know, at some point in the future, that'll be me following in his footsteps in that in that degree as well, because uh, you know he's an absolutely amazing athlete, and you know, all the guys that win belts here are, are, are meant for the world stage, and so that's why I feel, you know, I'm slowly inching closer towards, you know, getting my dream of fighting on the world stage. And you're on a five fight win, uh, win streak right now. And you took, you let like a two year break before that. It's, what happened during that time that made you come back even stronger? Well, <laughs> it was funny because I was actually fighting at middleweight. And um, yeah, that was a very hard cut. Obviously, I think I was a lot younger. I was only 21, 22. I'm 25 now. I think I filled out and stuff. But I had a, I had a bad knee injury. Um, after my second loss, uh, you know, I had to reevaluate things. I had to take a step back and look at the things that I need to improve. And I made massive improvements within that time. But then Cage Warriors found it difficult to match me a fight. So we had to wait a little bit longer. And fair enough, obviously, they've got a lot of great fighters on their, on their cards. Um, but yeah, I tore my meniscus. Uh, and then, you know, it's sort of a lot of things went downhill from there. Uh, but I got it repaired. I got it fixed. And then it was that long, you know, sort of recovery process and physio to get back. All the things that I learned during that, those hard times is, you know, ultimately what helps me now in these situations. And your dad is an accomplished martial artist. Does he, how much has he influenced you in your, in your MMA career so far? My, my dad's like my angel on my shoulders, you know. Uh, he puts everything into making me a champion. He, he literally gives up his health. Um, you know, he says he's got a bad back. He's got, you know, like bad, bad, you know, injuries and stuff like that. And he's training me full on, you know, to try and make me a world champion. And that to me, you know, like I, I can't thank him enough for that. He literally invests everything into me. And do you know what I mean? He's always believed in me. So, I mean, you know, if I didn't have him, you know, I, I don't know what I'd do. He's literally my, my inspiration and my rock that carries me through all these situations. Anyone else you would like to call out for your next fight? Who you want to give a crack your belt? Do you know what? I have, I have no idea. Whoever they want to sort of uh, put down in line next for me, because, you know, there, there wasn't that many light heavyweight fighters on the roster. So, Listen, I'm looking for another step up in competition. I'm looking once again to prove my skill set, to prove that I have what it takes to fight in the UFC and stuff like that. So, and you know, I hope you know Dana White and, and, and other people are watching because uh, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm sure they are watching. <laughs> and thank you so much. It was an amazing fight. Thank you thank so much you for your so time. Much.